For decades, Catherine Johnson remained the unheralded hero who'd paved the way for her nation to reach the moon, wielding little more than a pencil, a ruler, and one of the finest mathematical minds in America. It was she who calculated the flight path that put Neil Armstrong on the moon and made sure he reached safely home. The main thing is I liked what I was doing. I liked work. I liked the stars and the stories we were telling. And it was a joy to contribute to the literature that was going to be coming out. But little did I think it would go this far. But Katherine Johnson's calculations also saved lives, helping plot the safe return of the Apollo 13 crew after their mission was aborted and almost ended in disaster. Her talents not lost on present NASA scientists. She was considered a, you know, sort of the flunky who did the stuff that the engineers didn't really want to do. Engineers really sort of ran the show. Um, well, she made it pretty clear that what she did was really important. Um, and the engineers came to appreciate her, uh, her incredible talents. In 2015, President Obama awarded her America's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Growing up in West Virginia, Katherine Johnson counted everything. She counted steps, she counted dishes, she counted the distance to the church. But it took this Hollywood film to thrust the uncelebrated pioneer into the international spotlight in 2016. This is about inventing the math, because without it, we're not going anywhere. Yes, sir. Until then, she and other black women who worked for NASA in the 1960s were mostly unknown. But their work was motivating this UK pioneer of science and maths. I think that's an inspirational thing. You know, the fact that they even had to be kind of in the coloureds building, separate from everyone else, which we see so much of in the film. You know, it's incredible to have all of that happening and still stay true to your maths. Right to the end, Catherine Johnson deflected praise for her role in those early NASA missions, saying she was simply doing her job.